Let's recap the eventful bottom of the ninth inning, Game 3, National League Championship Series. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. You got Kimbrell in, looking to keep the game tied at one run apiece. Bottom of the ninth, and send it to extras. And the first pitch is kind of a doozy, because that's a strike, but it does not get called a strike. Uh, one of many pitches Phillies fans, I'm guessing, feel didn't go their way. But the very inning before... A pitch at that same height was thrown by Seawald of the D-backs and also was not called a strike. Now, both missed pitches per the strike zone. Uh, and the Phillies did get one called a little higher on them when Marsh was up earlier in the game. That 92 got called a strike, the 97 a ball. So the inning just doesn't start that well. Because that's a strike. 1-0. and Next pitch. Yanks a fastball. Okay. Fastball up top. 3-0. and Gets the call there. 96. Nice pitch on the bottom. 96 in the zone. 3-2. 96. These pitches. I thought, I thought both those pitches were going to get smashed. I mean, 3-2. You're looking for a pitch in the zone. 96. But it's right there, I thought. And then the next one again. I, those are pitches he just missed. Anyway. 3-2 again, low, they want strike three, they get ball four. Kimbrell's like, uh, are you sure? So another pitch he doesn't like. When you compare it to the 3-0 pitch that was called a strike at the bottom of the zone, they are different. So if that's the umpire's line there, and that's the, the graphic on the screen, which doesn't hold any really weight, that's kind of nonsense. It was, well, it's just not nonsense, just a kind of a guide. It was different than the one that was called a strike. And... All the low pitches from this game that I could find that were similar were all called balls. So that one I think is a ball and called consistently and correctly. But now you got a runner on first. He's taking off, steals on the pitcher inside fastball. Ramudo can't do anything with that. Oh, slider and another fastball right down the middle and just kind of put in play. Stopped by Stott but can't get an out. And that's another fastball. I know it's 97, but like, You'd think they'd be sitting fastball middle of the zone and getting better wood on it, but they're not, so they're excited. Let's go! Kimbrell, deep breath. Yeah! D-backs, they're excited. Another pitch. That one made me audibly go, Ugh! 95. It's looking like he wants to swing big and just doesn't connect on it. But when, oh, and they stole again. Okay, so that makes the double plays out. Not that they were going to turn two anyway. The infield's in to stop the run from scoring at home. Next pitch, another fastball that gets a ton of the plate. Slider away. No, he did not go, says the umpire who was not watching. Really? Kimbrell's like, really? Because uh, that's a swing. He connects. That's probably over our infielder's head because they're playing in. Honestly, if he connects with that ball, that's like blooping over the infielder's head. Uh, just a bad call. And you're hoping, oh boy, you're hoping that doesn't, you know, become the storyline. Luckily, Trey Turner stops the ball, fires home. They make the play, and he's out. Okay, look at Turner, ready to go. Backhand comes up, fires. I think he tagged him there, but they let it play out. But I think he gets his jersey right there, uh, so he's out. But then they let him scamper around, have their fun, because that's always, look at the camera angle. We get everyone, ooh, and he gets him again. So double out, two outs for the purple hair. Slider inside. Now Kimbrell's throwing his slider way more. Fastball up. Where'd it go? I don't know. You, I don't know. You got it? Boom. You got it? No. Out of play. But strike. Now the slider again. Slider, fastball, slider. And he got him swinging on that slider and then tries to get him swinging again. He does not. Tries to get him swinging again. Does not. And he loses him. In the process of getting him in the chase, the slider, he lost him. Up steps Cattell Marte, who's been Awesome, and this woman believes in her boys, specifically. Not much else, but she believes in her boys. Bases are loaded. Cattell Marte's up. He said he's looking fastball. He gets a fastball inside, takes it. 
Now what are you going to do? Are you going to play off that slider? Because it was looking decent the at-bat before, but no one flinched on it. So he's like, now nah, I'm going to go fastball. It's up. I don't think he wanted it up. Cattell Marte puts it in play. Walk off. Single. That's not where I don't think – that's not where I think he wanted it. And it's not even a terrible pitch. It would be like a waste pitch. But Marte was like, I'm not taking another fastball. I took that first one. I don't want to take another one. They're hopping off the bench in Arizona. If they lost that game, it would have been damaging. It would not have been a series. Instead, they win the game. It's a series. Marte says, chase me down. Chase me down, Perdomo. Stutter steps. Okay, fine. Okay, you got me. Now let's hug. Uh, 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 uh. Gallon. I love that Gallon's got a ball in his hand. Look at that. Just so what a pitcher. Just always tinkering. Always working. Let's go! Snake's alive! Thanks, DraftKings, for sponsoring this breakdown. Thank you to the umpires for making it interesting, and thank you to the D-backs for, for having good at-bats and putting the ball in play. Thank you, DraftKings, for sponsoring the breakdown mostly.